Okay, gang, lesson one, algebra one. You know what? We're going to start off very basic and we're going to get, we're going to advance pretty quickly here, okay? So we're going to talk about adding integers first thing, okay? Everybody knows how to do this already, but let's review this, okay? What I have here is a number line. Here's zero, then I have positive numbers to the right of zeros and negative numbers to the left of zeros. So I have some simple examples over here, and let's see if we can work these, okay? Now, and one way you can do this is just look at a number line, right? So negative four, let's go negative four. One, two, three, four. That puts us over here. And then if I if I add eight to that, I'm gonna get to the answer. So if I'm at negative four and I add eight to that, that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's gonna put me at positive four, isn't it? Okay. So the answer there is positive four. And of course, you can, you can rearrange that. Instead of doing negative four plus eight, you could do four, I mean, sorry, eight minus four. That's the same thing, right? And we all know that eight minus four is equal to four, okay? Next, uh, two minus five. Okay, again, go on your number line over two, one, two, and then come back five, one, two, three, four, five. The answer is negative three, okay? How about negative three minus two? Okay, so if I go to negative three, one, two, three, and then I go, from that I go minus two more, one, two, that takes me to negative five. Okay, so a negative plus a negative makes a bigger negative, okay? And then 10 minus negative eight. Okay, so what do you do when you have minus and then another minus, okay? Minus a minus. Well, what happens there when you have a minus a minus, your sign actually flips. So 10 minus a minus eight actually becomes 10 plus eight, okay? Which we know if you go to 10 and then you go eight more, you're at 18, okay? And then finally, one more down here at the bottom, minus four, minus three, that, and you can do these one at a time, right? So minus four plus minus three is how much? Minus seven, and then minus a minus seven, Right, which the minus a minus, actually that part right there just turns back into a plus, goes to zero, okay? Simple, all right, let's do multiplying now. 